Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with UGO Master Duel game on your computer. Now the first step is to verify the game files. Now this has worked for many users, so it might work for you. So go to Steam, then go to library, find the game, make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to disable steam overlay and other overlay application so again go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then under the general tab here you can see the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so uncheck this and then launch the game now the next step is to also close all the other overlay applications so if you have discord running on the computer make sure that you close discord now if you have nvidia geforce experience running the computer make sure that you close nvidia geforce experience so close all the overlay application now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down this is the latest driver click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now if you have intel graphics card in that case copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to intel website here you can see intel driver and support assistant click on download now and then run this exe file in my case it is already installed so launch intel driver and support assistant and then it will go ahead and check your computer it will scan your computer so you can launch it once you launch it it will open a browser it will scan your computer now if there is any pending update uh, for intel graphics or intel hardware it will let you know then you will see the download and install option so download the driver install it in my case i'm getting the error message i don't know why but you can run this scan and that this will go ahead and help you to update your system drivers now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now in case if you are using windows security go to the start menu then click on settings now go to in if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then you have to click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection now scroll down over here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open the game installation folder so in my case it's in c drive so open c drive then program files x86 then open the steam folder then open the steam apps folder then open the common folder now over here you will find the game folder double click it select the game exe file then click on open once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to add dx11 in launch options so go to steam and then make a right click on the game and then select properties and then in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to the steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files now this will straight away take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply then click on ok and launch the game from here so just make a double click over here and launch the game from here now the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings click on windows update or update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is 
provided in the video description. This will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Install x86 and x64 version. So click on both the exe file. And once it is downloaded, run both the exe file that is x86 and x64 version. Click on repair or install. You might see the install option or repair option. So click on it. Click on yes to allow. Run both the exe file. So click on repair or install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now, once the installation is complete, make sure that you restart your computer. So, once this is installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to install Media Feature Pack. So, if you have Windows N Edition, so install Media Feature Pack. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings, then go to Apps, then click on Optional Features, then click on Add a Feature. In Windows 10, you will see an option which says Add a Feature. In Windows 11, click on View Feature and in the search box, type in Media Feature Pack. Now, once you type in Media Feature Pack over here, you will see Media Feature Pack. I have Windows 11 Home, so I don't have it. If you have an edition of Windows, you will find Media Feature Pack like this. So, you have to put a check on the box which says Media Feature Pack, then click on Next or Install. And after the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to perform Clean Boot. For this, type in System Configuration in Windows Search Box. And then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here then click on disable all in my case I already did it in your case it will be highlighted so put a check over here first then click on disable all then click on apply okay you will see the restart option restart your computer and launch the game also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi after burner running on the computer make sure that you close msi after burner now, if you have revert tuner running on the computer, make sure that you close revert tuner. So close all the background application and all the overclocking applications. So make sure that you close all the overclocking application and close everything. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running. Rest close everything, including all the browsers. Now the next step is to launch the game in window mode. So when you launch the game, press Alt plus Enter on the keyboard, which will launch the game in window mode. Then lower down graphics settings. So if everything is set to high, you can select medium or low uh, graphics settings and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So you can uninstall the game, make a right click, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and this time try to install the game to a different drive. So if possible, if you have the option to uh, install the game to a different drive, try to install it to a different drive and then launch the game. So one of the steps should help you to launch the game successfully on your computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.